I'm doing pop culture, entertainment, Depress Heard, things like that. This article here is from Long Crime. It's from November 3rd, 2022, and it's called Giant Depp Tells Appeals Court That Loan Judgment for Amber Heard is Erroneous, says jury overwhelmingly favored him. And they've got a photo from May 27th, 2022 there, which they mention. So let's see what we got. Attorneys for actor Johnny Depp on Wednesday filed a 44-page appeal brief in a long-standing defamation battle with Depp's ex-wife and actress Amber Heard. A six-week trial resulted in a decisive win for Depp. A Virginia jury determined that Heard had defamed Depp, though that same jury determined that Depp's lawyer Adam Waldman in one sole instance defamed Heard. That latter statement by Depp's lawyer is solely the subject of Depp's appeal. So as you'll see, Depp's argument is that, well... That was my lawyer, not me, so I'm not actually liable, which seems like a pretty good argument to me. Although I like Adam Waldman also, Johnny's got a point technically, sure. And here you could see it. They mention that the font is kind of Halloween-like for the timing, which is, I guess, kind of cool. It was two days before Halloween. But they also let us know that there are serious arguments in there. And they cover some basics. Appealant John C. Depp, Mr. Depp, alleged that a Peely, Amber Heard, Miss Heard, defamed him by implying in an op-ed in the Washington Post, the op-ed that he had abused her during their relationship and brief marriage. By counterclaim, Miss Heard alleged that one of Depp's attorneys, non-party Adam Waldman, Mr. Waldman, defamed her in three statements, collectively the Waldman statements. To the UK tabloid, the Daily Mail, claiming that Heard's claims of abuse were false, she alleged that Mr. Depp was vicariously liable for his attorney's statements. Now, the thing is, it seems to me that Adam was right. The claims were false. So what's the problem? The brief quickly narrows the appeal at court's focus away from Depp's outsized victory and toward the core of the whittled down dispute that Depp says is relevant at this stage in litigation. The jury found that Ms. Heard defamed Mr. Depp in the op-ed and awarded Mr. Depp $10 million in compensatory and $5 million in punitive damages. On the counterclaim, the jury found in Depp's favor on two of the three Waldman statements, but in favor of Ms. Heard on the third Waldman statement. That is the only statement at issue in this appeal. A successive paragraph contains something akin to another victory lap for Depp. And basically... What Johnny's saying here and his team is saying is that there was some complex legal and factual issues that the court didn't quite get right concerning the appeal here and what he's saying about Waldman. And the thing is, when I heard that, I'm no lawyer by the way, I kind of got a weird feeling that they got that wrong. It just didn't quite feel right. I really never felt at any point Amber was defamed by anyone but herself. And also, pretty much the corporations and mainstream media were always on her side. And that's pretty much what builds fame, is the corporations, Hollywood pulling you up, and the mainstream media. So, I don't see the problem. Well, the problem is she was an abuser and a defamer. But, I mean, I don't see the problem for her at that time as far as being defamed or not. The brief then reasserted that the sole issue was Waldman's statement. That statement published in the Daily Mail on April 27, 2020 describes a recording of a phone call to the police on the night of May 21st, 2016, a date on which Miss Heard alleged Mr. Depp threw a phone at her and roughed up their apartments at the Eastern Columbia building, the appeal brief recalled. Miss Heard presented no evidence at trial that Mr. Depp was personally involved in directing or making any of the three Waldman statements the brief says. Indeed, Mr. Depp testified that he had never even seen the Waldman statements prior to the filing of the counterclaim in August of 2020. In other words, according to Depp's lawyers, Depp can't be held liable for it. And I gotta say, that makes sense. Depp can't control every word at every point that comes out of Adam Waldman's mouth. So obviously, there are more layers here going on. Maybe check out the full article if you want. But I think the main point we got here is Depp saying... It wasn't me. And I don't really think Adam Waldman defamed Amber. Anyway, it seems like until the Virginia trial hit and until that verdict came down, pretty much the big players, let's just say most of them, 90% of them, were on her side anyway.
Let me know what you think down below. Doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. And if you don't subscribe, I'll be pretty sad about it, but I'll get over it. See you next time. Rant done for now.